What's up guys, this is Chris, and I really love that new intro. Today's match is another one up against Sleeping Tune from the Smogon Battlefinder, a new friend of mine. Uh, we decided to switch up teams, and he brought a baton passing type of team, and I brought well, more random stuff. I was hoping he'd go for the Protect on the first turn, so I'd go for my Belly Drum. But instead he goes for the Substitute, which I thought was kind of weird, but oh well, he did it. And so I decide, you know what, I'm going to throw some ice in his face after he, you know, gets this nice little speed boost. So Zipper's on his speed over there, and I'm going to ice shard him. But he's not going to, you know, want to take anything from me. So after his substitute fades, he's going to go for the X scissor. And I'm already doing absolutely horrible, because I was hoping this was one of those absolutely useless baton passing ninjas who have no attacking moves whatsoever, and they baton pass whenever shit starts to go down but that's not the case so knowing that's probably his only move I go into McGee who I know will be able to take everything he got and I go for the avalanche um, namely because I'm knowing as long as I'm going for avalanche he's not going to want to go into his Leafeon so that's going to work out for me right here not really though um, it's quite obvious that I am banded or locked into a move in some way shape or form so I'm gonna keep going for avalanche as he keeps protecting and substituting and collecting his speed boosts and once he's high as a kite and twice as far he's going to eventually baton pass out of there but my constant avalanches are going to prevent him from being able to pass a substitute which will help while it won't really help at all so I keep avalanching here, McGee's trying to do his job and he's like I can't do nothing with these damn bugs in the kitchen and I'm like McGee you just need to get in there and get cooking and the little cockroach with the wings and the speed is like no I don't think you're going to be able to get away with that so I'm just not really enjoying this battle at this point but uh, he gave me a really good first battle so I decided I'm going to stick it through. So the avalanches keep coming down off the mountain all this bug somehow manages to just continuously live by throwing stuffed animals and protecting itself with magic and yeah so his leftovers keep him able to do stuff and now he finally decides to pass the baton over to COD his Vaporeon I don't quite understand the name or perhaps it's not a Call of Duty reference it's just a cod fish and so he's going to take the avalanche quite well, and I don't want to keep going for avalanche if he resists it. So I'm going to switch out to Mama Khan as he goes for the stereotypical acid armor, and I'm not enjoying that at all. So Mama Khan's going to want to fake him out a little bit and get a little bit of damage on him. Not going to make a difference in the long run. Well, it makes a difference on me considering I'm going to lose some life or recoil, but oh well. So he flinches because he's not quite sure what to do about Mama Khan. And then Mama Khan decides to get out of there and goes back into McGee, who's hoping his choice banded earthquakes will be able to do more damage than his choice banded avalanches. So he goes for another acid armor. He now has plus six speed and plus four defense. And he goes for the substitute, as I'm going to go for the choice banded earthquake. So McGee is a little upset and he starts shaking the earth and the stuffed animal does not live it. It gets crushed in the debris from the natural disasters caused by this swamper. He goes for another acid armor and I'm going to get to see how much my earthquake with choice band does against this Vaporeon with plus six defense and it is absolutely pitiful. Um, at this point I should have forced all the baton pass but I actually thought he would go for the substitute first. And he goes into his Leafeon, who I am absolutely afraid of with Swampert, but oddly enough, I might be able to take him out with my, whatchamacallit, my Marsh Tomp. So, I was hoping he would just go right for the attacking move, so I go for another Choice Bandit Earthquake, but instead he goes for the Swords Dance. And at this point, it's just absolutely horrible. I don't see why he wouldn't continue to set up his Swords Dances. And that's what he does. And so he's dancing around with swords as McGee is just shaking the earth, wondering why these cats just won't go away. So nothing's really quite working out right now. He's really fast. He's really great defense, and he's going to hit me really hard. And with Stab and 300% of his normal attack, there's no way McGee is going to live that. So he's going down, and there's a crit on top of that just, just to rub a little bit of salt to the wounds. So now 
I send out Spanky, who I know can take either the x or, or the Leaf Blade. And I'm going to go for the Fire Blast right here. And he hits me. And with 300%, I do manage to, with that 14 HP, and Fire Blast hits. And I am in Blaze range, and that will be one dead Leafeon since he got all the defense and none of the special defense. And down goes Bunny. Unfortunately, Spinky is a Life Orb variant, so he will go down as well. And then I send in my c c combo bat, hoping that he will be able to do some more work. So here comes Bring Buta, as I go for a nasty plot, and I'm quite confused as to what this thing is going to do. He goes for the dragon dance. I'm like, all right. So you're dancing like a dragon now. You do that. So I'm going to go for the Giggo Train here. If I'd have known he was going to be faster still, I would have gone for the Air Slash. Because every time I go for Air Slash, I hope for the flinch, and it never seems to work out for me. But he has his adaptability, and he goes for the Night Slash. I don't know why he went for that over the Waterfall, but he does. And Waterfall would have actually KO'd me looking at that damage, but he didn't. So I get my Giga Train. And since he had 1 HP, I'm going to gain back 1 HP since... It rounds up, and then I get my Black Sludge recovery as well. So I'm sitting at 61 HP, and in comes Zipper, that annoying little flying cockroach. As he goes for a Protect, I should have foresaw that and gone for another Nasty Plot, but I don't. I go for the Air Slash. And at this point, I'm a little concerned. I mean, if he manages to Baton Pass out to his Espeon, it will not be a very good story for me. So what I should have done right here is continue the pressure with the air slashes but he actually makes a great play i go for the air slash to break that sub and i was hoping he'd go for another protect right here in order to get, uh, guarantee the speed boost so i'm going to go for a nasty plot uh, getting a little ahead of the um, actual video he actually goes for a substitute instead of the protect which i did not predict so I'm going for the nasty plot, like, aha, but he already went for the sub, so I'm like, aho. So I'm going to get to go for my air slash, as he's going to most likely be able to baton past this substitute in 3, 4, something speed boost. Over to Boom Bitch, his Espeon, and I'm not quite thrilled with this. I go for the Giga Drain, hoping for a recovery, knowing that at plus 4 special attack, it will break um, Ninjask the sub since he has horrible defenses and even though he doesn't have the special attack boost yet I know at plus three or plus four store power will be more than enough to KO my poor little combo bat so I go into Mamacon who actually takes it really well as I go for the fake out and of course he's going to flinch and what I should have done is gone for the ice punch right here or a focus punch it wouldn't made any bit of a difference, but I went for the Sucker Punch, knowing he's going to want to set up or pass out, and that's exactly what he does. So, Boom Bitch makes a run for it and goes into his Cod, and his Codfish is out here with its high speed, and I'm like, oh right. So I'm thinking he's going to go for his Acid Armor, so I'm going to Focus Punch him right in the face, and that's exactly what he tries to do. And I'm hoping my Focus Punch will do a lot of damage. And it hits him, and it does a interesting amount. So, Mama Khan isn't quite sure what to do, so he's getting ready for another focus punch as he baton passes out with his plus three speed, I believe, and plus two defense. And I managed to smack this Celebi right with the focus punch, and I predict him to go for some sort of a setup move. So next turn, I'm going to go for the Ice Punch. So he does as I predict, because I mentally told him to go for Calm Mind. So I'm going to get the free Ice Punch. And I get him right in his little onion face. And because he's such high defense right now, it's not going to deal a whole lot of damage. And now I don't think he wants to take another Ice Punch. So I'm going to go for the Suck Up Punch. And, you know, catch him off guard as he goes for the Giga Drain. And since I only have 23 HP, that means he's only going to get 12 of it back. And once again, he decides to spite me, and he gets another critical hit. And I'm not too thrilled at this Celebi right now. So, things aren't looking good at all. I go into Sakura, who is going to go for the 
um, what was the move? Mirror coat right here. And for some reason, I thought he would want to set up a substitute or go for some calm minds, but he makes a fool out of me as he goes for the store power. And I'm completely forgetting everything. I decide, hey, I'm getting set up my stealth rocks right now, which don't work at all. And basically, it's foot in mouth, insert twist, wash, rinse, repeat. This battle's over. There's no way on earth I'm going to come out on top. I played my cards all wrong, even though I had the right cards to win, and it's my own fault. So Combo Bat's going to come out here, and he's not going to do anything but get hit with a stored power. And that's basically going to be the end of the match right here. So, great game, Mr. Sleeping Tune. Hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and thanks for watching, and another and, and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.